Do not adjust your channel. You have not reached the Bono and Edge tribute show. No, you have reached the Mendip Cycling Vlog. And this is Scott coming to you from this beautiful English day in Carlsbad, California. Here's hoping we see summer in September. Take it away, Darren. So hello, I am Darren, we are Mendip. Thank you very much, Scott. Um, you too could also be in the intro if you send me in your clips. Do a brief intro of yourself, where you are, uh, and send them to me at menditcyclingvlogs at gmail.com and you too could introduce our next video. Today, we are off to the lost village of Imber and then on to Stonehenge. So Imber is a village on Salisbury Plain, which is a military village. It got evacuated in 1943 for the Second World War for the Americans to train in and they've never gone back. So it's only open once a year. Today is the day and we're gonna cycle through Imber and find our way over to Salisbury Plain and Stonehenge. It's about 100 miles, um, about 1500 meters of climbing. So not too much of a stressful day and the sun is out to play. Right, so Kamut predicted today's ride at 12 hours, basically. I thought I'm gonna try and take out some climbs and find a flat way there, try and reduce the time a bit. It was given three hours for the Imber section, but it doesn't really know where that is. So uh, I'm hoping that it's only about eight hours. <laughs> anyway, I tried to flatten out the climbs by taking out one Mendic climb and coming a different way. But so far we've been up four climbs. <laughs> and this is another one. The sun has disappeared for a bit, but we made our way over to Longleat. We've just come through Froome and we're gonna pass the house. We got one more climb, which makes it seven of the morning before we have a coffee at the bus cafe just outside Warminster. And then we've got the Lost Road, Lost Road, the Lost Village Road to Imber. <laughs> See, so many climbs, my brain stopped working because all the blood's in my legs. Right, so there's nothing like a flat early morning Sunday ride. Yeah. And that was nothing like a flat early Sunday morning ride. Loving it. Every, all of it. Longleat was a bit mental though, wasn't it? It was. How many people were at Longleat? Jeepers. Back. We're going up a slight hill, but <laughs> I promise it is downhill at the top of this ridge, all the way to the cafe. This is where Finn was. This is where Finn was, yeah. I, I don't know whether she yeah, spotted it on Kamut, but it's, it's just in the right space. Are you shivering? Yeah, it's really, really cold. Have you, have you got all your clothes on? Everything. <laughs> Arm warmers, yeah. jacket. I'm going to regret that though, aren't I? You'll pull your buff up over your face as well in a minute. Oh, I'm out of thoughts today because I couldn't find my mended buff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I said it's not the same, not the same quality. It's August bank holiday, they promised 21 degrees today. I know. I think it will come after one o'clock. So I'm positive. Well, that's no good. I need it now. Yeah, <laughs> right, so our next adventure is up to Imber. We've got to go through Warminster, find the Imber Road, and we're on Salisbury Plain through the Lost Village. Are you waving to Martin? <laughs> yeah. Apparently she's got to wave to Martin because he says she always looks miserable. But she's never miserable. I'm not. She complains a lot off camera. <laughs> How are you enjoying this, Peter? This is a FAB ride again, as usual. Where has the sun gone? Though? Oh, I don't know. It disappeared. 
I hope it comes back out. I'm sure it will. Because we're... Uh, when we get to Stonehenge and have tea with the Druids... <laughs> yeah. The sun will come out and all will be well. Although I keep seeing these unexploded mine signs. I know. Unexploded military debris. We've got to stop for a comfort break. We mustn't... <laughs> the road. Blow up having a pee. <laughs> Very dangerous. This is incredible. Be able to do this just once a year. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, it's prohibited access all year round. Shame for the guys that couldn't make it today. It is, yeah. But, uh, but then again, I'm getting the tiles and they're not, so. Boo hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Right, so uh, about 20 minutes of Salisbury Plain, we've now arrived in Imber Village. This is the Lost Village. They got evacuated in 1943 for World War II for the Americans to uh, practice their military manoeuvres for World War II. The military have never really let anybody back, so it's just all reclaimed village. Yeah, you, you didn't want to go in the church. I've been in one. Pete, Pete's gone off to pray. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know we play that game when we're riding and we saw these posh houses as that's my house, that's I, your house. Which one of those are you having? None. They're murdery houses. <laughs> Just looked hor horrible, like dark. Now. You're gone now, or you're coming back. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You're the travelling. Hey, you got your legs back. We thought they'd blown off then. We thought you strayed off into the military debris. <laughs> We are now, I think, on Byway 12, heading down towards Stonehenge. We have done 85 kilometres and 975 metres of climbing. It is, having set off at 8 o'clock, it is now 20 to 1. So we haven't done too bad at all to get here. I'm not sure how close we're going to get to Stonehenge. Um, and I know there's a bit of gravel and byways and whatever we can do with the bikes. And then we've got to cross the A303. Did you enjoy the gravel? No. No? no. <laughs> but I went much faster than I've ever gone before. And I missed the stones. Oh, we haven't finished it yet. We've got some more to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh we've got more to go. More to go, yeah. And you haven't seen the stones either because you didn't look left. No, I was concentrating on not damaging my wheels. There you go, Pete. I, I knew we wouldn't have to come far. Yeah, probably. Massive traffic. Terrible traffic. But that is Stonehenge. Can you see them now? <laughs> you got them in your car, didn't you? They look tiny. I thought they would be more spectacular. We didn't put that on film. Kamut seemed to make out that we could actually get quite close to the stones, but there was a guard on the gate there that's uh, stopping you from going in for free because the visitor centre's quite a way away where you'd have to pay to come in. So we couldn't cheat the day. But uh, there they are, Stonehenge. Worth 100 miles ride for. Who knows? Imber was alright then. I'm obviously impressed by the effort of bringing them all the way down because it would be rude not to be, but. They didn't have cars back then and they brought that all the way from Wales and you're not impressed. I don't know, I am impressed by that, but. And they managed to lift those stones up on top of the other ones yeah. without any tools. And why? That's the question that nobody can answer. So, glad you came. <laughs> yeah. We have an anti climax now, isn't it? <laughs> It's, it's funny though, Pete, that Stonehenge is famous for the sun and it's gone in again. Yeah. <laughs> Summer solstice. Oh, you photobombing again? Yeah. Every time I pull the camera out, you photobomb everybody. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Right, so having diced with death on the 303 and then the A350, I think it was, to Salisbury. A few frustrated motorists, let's say. They've been stuck in the traffic going past Stonehenge. 
decided to use it as a rat run and didn't take too kindly to cyclists being on the road in front of them. But we're now back on Cycle Route 24. We're in what I think is the Wiley Valley and this takes us all the way back to Shearwater. The sun is peeking out and I've still got my gilet on so it's still not that warm. And it was supposed to be 21 degrees today. So that is pretty summer for you. It looks glorious, but it's still a bit chilly. Right, we're stopped in the village of Hanging Langford because we've got a bit of a technical issue. I'm not quite sure how I can solve it on the go. I've, I've had a good look and I don't think there's anything loose. I just think something's broken somewhere. Yeah, I don't think that should be doing that somehow. Um, we've still got 60k to go. I've got a limp home. Who wants to push me if it goes? <laughs> Shall we go? There's nothing the coffee won't solve and a bit of cake at Shearwater. She can't be far away now. Right, I'm just limping to the cafe. It sounds absolutely awful. I've got no stability in the pedals because it just keeps wobbling from side to side. Anyway, there's something's broke inside. The plan is just to get home. <laughs> Doesn't matter how long it takes, just get home. There are public toilets, you just gotta ask for the key, but you gotta remember to give it back and don't steal it. <laughs> Why is it on the phone? Because they're customers only, not public. <laughs> oh, I couldn't quite face another coffee, so we've gone for a cold Coke. Oh. San Pellegrino. Orange. Orange. Thank you very much. It looks just a ticket. Thank you. The there's green, there's green your vegetables. Yeah. It's very healthy. No sugar. I, I better get these on camera, and I? Because um, I didn't... I didn't do the sausage bath at the, <laughs> the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can just nurse this home. See if we make it. I don't know how far we've got to go actually. It's done uh, 123k, it's 169 in total. So 46k, so not too bad. Just try and nurse it home and see what we can do. Well, it looks like we're going to make it, Del. Have you been enjoying the uh, noises my crank's been making? Absolutely. I'm the engine. <laughs> <that's really named. laughs> yeah. All the way home. All the way home. But we're about five minutes away now, so I should make it. And then I might have a look before I start editing just to find out what the hell has happened. Because <laughs> this is very odd. I, said, I, thought, I thought you were going to be picking ball bearings out the road. So, well you done. Didn't, didn't think I was going to make it? I I reckon I must have upset one of them. <laughs> Stirring up dust coming past our caravans. So anyway, we made it. I made it. I'm gonna go take this off now and have a look, see what it is. Um then I'm gonna edit all evening, all night, probably into the early hours of the morning. Uh, <laughs> let's hope I have no more technical problems with that. Right. So I've taken it apart, it's made a bit of a mess. And uh, I don't know what's there, but I'm sure there's supposed to be a uh, bearing in there. I like that one, the other side, but you can see there's loads of ball bearings in the middle there. But oh well, we've uh, we've got the canyon. <laughs> I just haven't got any wheels for it. Uh, what can I say? Anyway, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you soon in the next video. When I've got a bike. <laughs> Who knows when? <laughs> Thank you for watching.